So we just got to our hotel in Kauai and had a couple Instagram questions on how we did this shot right here. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that now. I've got my nieces here with me and they're gonna help me out. All right, so one of the main things is to move the camera in an arc. You're gonna start here, the lens pointing down slightly, and we're gonna come down, and as we come down, we tilt the camera up. And this is what I call a vertical pivot. So we're take, going around our subject, pivoting like this. And as you do that, you're gonna walk forward as well. And what that does when you have a long lens is it makes the background move behind your subject. Now there are a couple things that you need in your composition in order to make this work. You need a mid-ground, a deep background, and you also need something in your background that's up high that can rotate into your frame as you move the camera down. We'll also wanna have a long lens, keep your subject right in the middle of the frame, and a camera with autofocus is a must. We're gonna do a couple test shots here. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. And keep in mind that once you do the shot moving forward, you can have your subject hold and do the shot backwards and then run that shot in reverse and see which one looks better. So I highly suggest having an external monitor on your gimbal to do this. And you'll look at this monitor when the camera is over your head. And as you bring your camera down below your eyes, you'll look at the back of the screen. So another important factor is to have an interesting background and a background with a lot of depth. Again, I'm gonna come walking in this way. And as I'm moving forward, I'm pivoting down and tilting up. And that's gonna push and whirl our background from top to bottom as we push in. I hope that's helped you out. Of course, there's a lot more that can be done to the shot through color grading. That's something we'll go over in future tutorials. Until then, have fun.